to uh, soften the blow, we've got uh, Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton, who are going to be taking the uh, vaccine publicly to uh, quell any worries about it. (laughs) Yeah, right. But hang on a sec. If they were taking Trump's vaccine, because that's what it sounds like, and Trump's vaccine passed the same hurdles you just outlaid, this wouldn't be a problem, would it? They're going to get saline solution injected in them. You think these people <laughs> actually risk anything? Yeah. Look at the three of them on the screen. Yeah. Look at that. Forget it. All right. It's well, a lie. Well, you, know, look, you, you know what they rely upon? Mm. Okay, it's a primate instinct, folks. And we're part animal and part divine. But the animal part, they've actually done studies, and they will get a picture of the alpha chimp, let's say, and put it on the wall. And the other chimps sit there, and they look up, and they idolise it. That's why they use these three clowns to sell the vaccine because they're tapping into your the animal part of you that says, I must look up to the, the leader. Mm. No, you become the leader. Look in the mirror. That's the only person you need to start trusting. Trust mm. yourself. Make your own decisions. Mm. Ignore this nonsense. Mm. These three corrupt clowns. So last week we talked about, we finished the show by saying... Um, you need to get out to the Freedom Day marches. And we had a phenomenal time on the weekend meeting everyone again. Again, great people, beautiful people. Loved meeting them all, truth speakers. And um, the Freedom Day marches took, cross, t- took place across Australia. One of the interesting things that I said um, to encourage people to go out was if you don't stand up now, if you think that it's over just because just the lockdowns are done for summer, they will be back. They will be back. Mm. What would you say to those people? Will they be back? <laughs> They're already back. And that's the point. You're exactly right. We, said, we talked about it last week. They, they ratchet the, the pressure on and then they release it a fraction and you're grateful to them. Stockholm Syndrome. But they haven't stopped. And what they're doing is they keep trying new things to see the level of pushback, the level of pushback. It's all a test how, how mm. cranky are the Australians. Mm. And this is what's happened in South Australia. And again, I'm going to read you a, an SMS that we received because we've got a fantastic competitive intelligence network out there and we get a ton of data. Yeah. 